Hello there, and welcome to Dr. T for today, July the 17th. We are starting off with stage one, which as you can see has 16,000 hit points. Uh, basically, go to where I flared, let your, crit let your tanks go where my critters are basically stomping through, and then eventually end up where my tanks end up, because from there, you won't be able to get hit by anything, and you can kill the HQ, lickety split, move on to stage two. Stage 2 has 50,000 hit points, as you can see, and there is a boom cannon on this level. Watch out for it, it's got 4,000 hit points, and we're going to have to go through that mofo because it has range all over the HQ. So what I did is I went up the left with the tanks, let them collect up some free GBE, flared right onto that cannon, and let my tanks take it out. Threw a shock, hits all three defenses on this stage, just so that, you know, you don't have to worry about it. And then from there, basically, you can clear out the HQ. The, the low-level mortar and rocket launcher shouldn't be able to do anything too, too scary to your tanks. And then you'll move on to stage three. Now, I, I thought I misread when I looked the first time. But no, that's real. 255,000 hit points on the HQ. WTF. So... Also, before I get into that, also, Boom Cannon that has, you know, around 5k, and a Shock Launcher that has a stupid amount, of, like, pushing, like, 14k, um, I want to say, like, well, maybe closer to 13k. Anyways, the point is, go up the right-hand side, run your tanks in, let them go slow. Nothing's going to be hitting them except for that shock launcher. Let the shock launcher have all the free shots at once at your poor tanks. It's only going to hit the leading edge of the tanks, so hopefully they'll leapfrog their way nice and close. And once you're in range, throw the stun down, finish it off, and then pull yourself up on the right-hand side. The cannons won't be able to reach you, so you'll be nice and safe, and you can work on that HQ. Now, if you're really low level and you don't have the deeps to go deep with this HQ, by all means, throw in a boatload of Zookas. That will help speed you through and win, and your Zookas should still outrange those cannons, I'm pretty sure. Moving on to stage 4, 141,000 hit points on the HQ, so we're back to a, a relatively normal sort of scenario. Thank goodness, because holy Quasimodo, WTF. Now, there are two shock launchers right on the beach. The beach landing for four is rough, because you've got a shock launcher there that must go, and then you've got this freaking boom cannon up here that also must go. And I'm going to assume you're going to be short on the old GBE, so what I'm suggesting is basically what you're seeing here. Throw down a smoke... Run your tanks up, get them on on range, make sure you hit the machine gun and the rocket launcher nearby, all with your shock, and you should be able to take down that boom cannon. Now, the boom cannon has just under 9,500 hit points, around 9,300 or 9.3k if you prefer. Um... And, and the shock launchers also have, you know, close to 14,000 hit points again because, uh, actually, I think just a little over. They're level 1, but that's still with, you know, crazy boost. Oh, wait, hold on. Now, let me do my math here. No, that would be like 11k. Maybe? I don't know. There's something, K. Fortunately, I'm sure you can figure it out. <laughs> um... So basically, cleaning up left-hand side here, a few mortars. Yes, one of our tanks is really low. No, we don't have any medics. Hopefully you do. That will take care of your problem, and you'll be able to have a nice, easy cruise right on to Winsville. And from there, you can also throw down, you know, like 60 or so critters, because, hey, why not, right? Like, jeez. Anyways, moving on to stage... Senko, which I think is 5. Stage 5 has 257,000 hit points. It's got 10.3 on the boom cannons. It's got 14 on the shock launcher. It's got an 84% health boost on the statues. 
and a 32% boost on the damage. Now, I did try this level actually a couple of times by basically leaving everything up on the beach and smoking into where I eventually end up smoking my Wii tanks into. The problem is it didn't work out well for me. I ended up losing uh, medics left and right, and it was just, it was not cool, brah. So, throw some GBE at that chalk launcher. Run your tanks up to basically where my tanks are here, and throw a shock down on the flamethrower to keep it away from hurting your poor tanks. Uh, obviously, you may have to throw a few extra smokes on the beach in order to get everybody in there, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it works out. And then once you clear out this little section, you can go up to the left. Either, if you, if you don't have critters, use a an artillery, sorry. If you do have critters, throw some critters down on those mines. Just make them go away, because your medics definitely don't need the extra work. As you can see from my poor tanks. So once you clear up the worst of what's in front of you there, you can flare over to the left hand side, basically trying to get out of the range of the sniper towers and cannons and everything that they may be drifting into. And from roughly this spot, you should be able to just cruise through to a nice easy win. This is your safe place. When you close your eyes, picture a midget, a peanut butter sandwich, and this spot because nothing's gonna hurt you here. Moving on to stage six, we have 346,000 hit points on the HQ. Ooh, look at that! A 92% building health boost. Ooh. Building damage is boosted by 36%, and after stage four and five, which I'm not gonna lie to you, if you're stage four and five leveled, those two are going to be tough, but if you're stage 6 level, it is a freaking breeze. And to be honest, if you're normally doing 5, give 6 a shot. It's there. There is some pretty serious levels on the buildings, there is some pretty serious damage, but compared to a lot of the level 6s, it seemed pretty, pretty easy. Like, I even went in with partial troops, I was missing tanks and medics and all kinds of craziness and it didn't really have that much effect. I cruised through nice and easy. Now definitely do save yourself some GBE to take out that minefield either with critters or with barrage or with both because you wanted to throw your critters and then blow them up because screw those critters. Yeah. Sorry. I love my critters. They're great. Yay. All right. Anyways, once you move in closer to the HQ, you'll see there is a tower and a cannon. Both of those gotta go. Unfortunately, they have a buttload of hit points. So you may have to throw a couple shocks here. Make sure to keep that in mind so that you don't run out of GBE. And then basically, once you get to this point, my goodness, nothing can even come close to touching you. You can just ruin Dr. T's face because... I don't know. He's sad and you gotta do something to his face. Just pop it. Anyways, moving on to stage 7. And I know, this is the stage 7 you've been waiting for because the last couple of Volcano stage 7s, sorry, Tropical Island stage 7s, have been crazy. Like, super crazy. This one is not gonna disappoint. It is a pretty intense landing, not gonna lie to you. You got a lot of lot of defenses here. You've got that boom cannon sitting right in the middle of the island with 35,000 hit points on it, give or take. You've got a shock launcher over there on the left hand side with like 40,000 hit points on it. You've got 140% building health, like my goodness. Everything is super beefy on this level. And the HQ has 432,000. 
Now, the good news is, if you cruise up after you make your landing and you throw a few stuns, if you cruise up the right-hand side and actually keep all of your tanks over on the right-hand side, unlike me, who was just like, yeah, tanks, go play with the boom cannon. It'll be fun. Also, while you're at it, take the kids out and play on the highway with them. Like, I don't know why my tanks drifted over there, but they paid for it, and paid for it very instantly. The good news is we can move on with the remaining tanks that we still have up and do some serious freaking damage. Now, if you're short on GBE like moi, start tossing those critters. All you need to do is distract the sniper towers and the cannons for just a little bit of time. It's also nice because if you're throwing the critters up there, it distracts the shock launcher, which is key because this is the point where the shock launcher is going to start hitting you. And if you don't distract the shock launcher, you are not going to be going anywhere fast. And that would be a bad thing. So, from the right hand side, as you toss your critters whenever you can, Eventually you will get to the point where you can take out the last sniper tower and cannon that are really going to be any kind of a problem to you. And once you have those down, just flare up to the very tippity top. Now, I, I, I get it. The freaking shock launcher is going to do annoying, horrible, horrible things to you. But the good news is none of the other defenses will. So what's going to happen is you're going to be in a nice safe place, you're going to be slowed down, but you're going to get through it. Now, if you still have GBE, you can throw stuns or critters or whatever you want at that shock launcher, but you probably won't. The good news is, <clears throat> if you came up the same way as me, your medics are going to actually hang south, and they're going to tank the shock launcher for your cannons. Anyways... Thanks for watching, hopefully this has been helpful, hopefully it's been entertaining, and most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day and take down this Stage 7.